Maybe you've come across the medical medium's celery juice cleanse. You've seen the reviews on Amazon and they look incredible and amazing. And you have one of your friends doing it and it looks incredible and amazing. And they gave you a rave review and you think you should be doing it. Before you do that, please, for the love of God, watch this video because there are a lot of people who get far worse on this and I want to explain why from a Chinese medicine perspective. Because in the bucket of medical fads, and there are a lot of them and there are always new ones, this is something very important to keep in mind. Hey guys, Dr. Alex Hine, author of the health book Master of the Day, doctor of Chinese medicine and licensed acupuncturist. So before we jump into this video, two very important links right below. The first is if you'd like to become a patient of mine locally in Los Angeles or virtually via telemedicine, you can reach my private practice below this video. The second is a free download, which is four daily rituals that could potentially help you add years to your life with Chinese medicine. So those are right below this video here. Let's talk about constitution, which is fundamentally why some people get better and some get worse from doing the same thing. And that's what we're going to be talking about with this celery juice fad, this cleanse. You know, some people have different tendencies. Those tendencies we call constitution or genetics. And this is very important in terms of clinical medicine, especially if you're someone dealing with chronic health problems. Because in Chinese medicine, one of the main issues and one of the main reasons people have chronic health problems is that there is a constitutional weakness. There is a genetic susceptibility that runs in families typically that then predisposes you to certain weaknesses. It is the chink in your armor, right? That weakness may be gut problems. That weakness may be migraines. That weakness may be anxiety, depression. It may be skin problems or asthma or allergies. But your body has a tendency to display certain symptoms that we call constitution. The origin of that may be different for each person. And Chinese medicine is almost like surgical precision. The patterns that we have, for example, just bloating or indigestion can have 10, 20, 50, 100 different Chinese formulas I give for that. The same symptom can have different etiologies. But when we're talking about the gut, because when I hear from patients, the ones that do the celery cleanse, it is most often for digestion, bloating, fluid retention, fullness, that kind of thing. Let's talk about this a little bit more. Let's talk about the cold, damp type in Chinese medicine. This is the kind of person who will get worse from the celery juice diet. I promise you, stay far away from this. You can have celery in small amounts, but stay away from this massive 50, 60 ounce celery juice I'm seeing people do, it will destroy you. So the cold damp type is a constitutional type very commonly seen in clinical practice. These people are prone to soft stools or diarrhea, small intestine bacterial overgrowth, SIBO, bloating, food sensitivities, and typically they're on the thinner side or have a paler facial complexion like myself. Now these people in Chinese medicine are considered prone to basically this kind of candida yeasty type. They have this kind of predisposition. So they're more sensitive to bloating, more sensitive to having actual food sensitivities. Now in Chinese medicine, this is considered a finding that is due to cold or hypofunction. And so we often use warming herbs, like warming spices like ginger and cinnamon and that kind of thing in high doses for healing the gut and increasing metabolism. But what is celery in Chinese medicine? It is one of the coldest dampness generating things, certainly one of the coldest that you could ingest. And to be pouring 60 ounces of what's basically an energetic ice cube into your gut for people who already have that susceptibility is a terrible idea. So if you find yourself getting more bloating or pretty much diarrhea every bowel movement, that is a bad sign. Let's talk about the people who might get better from this. And this is the problem. This kind of person does it and they say, I feel amazing. I'm going to do this every day. They tell their other friend that the more cold, damp type in Chinese medicine, they get blown out by it. And they're like, ah, uh, yeah, I got a little, gut was a little weird from it. But let's talk about, for example, the other type. So the first type is more of like a low stomach acid kind of type, low pancreatic enzymes. So they have problems with digestion, food sits in their stomach, slow motility, sluggish bowels. You throw in a bunch of cold stuff, it's going to get worse. I can promise you that. You also see this in people who have this constitution and who do raw vegan diets for a long period of time, or they just eat a lot of salads. But your friend who may do the celery juice cleanse and feels amazing is more of the hot type in Chinese medicine. So this type, they often have drier bowel movements. 
They tend to have good digestion genetically. They never complain about their GI most of the time. This person, let's just say on the pathological side, maybe is more prone to a standard American diet. They have lots of coffee and lots of alcohol, and maybe they tolerate them well because their GI is strong. But in general, these create more heat, specifically issues with the gallbladder. Now, if you are someone who's generally has good digestion historically, and that's never been a problem since you were a kid, or you are having issues of acid reflux, indigestion, sour bitterness in your mouth, that is a gallbladder issue and or liver issue from Chinese medicine perspective. So what helps those organs is more cooling foods. So if you're having gallbladder issues, a lot of these people will do better on more of a vegetarian diet with more vegetables because it's more cooling. Gallbladder for Chinese medicine is we use herbs that like huangqin, scutellaria, herbs that clear what we call organ heat. This heat from the gallbladder, that this congestion that's building that produces a kind of stagnation, most often gallstones or gallbladder sludge. Very commonly seen clinically. I mean, gallbladder removals are some of the most common surgeries done. But for this kind of person, they will feel better because there's too much heat in the system from a Chinese medicine perspective and the gallbladder is having a big issue. So they're gonna feel better with more cooling vegetables, but not the person who's already cooled down too much and needs to get warmed up. Give them a garlic and cinnamon and ginger cleanse and they'll feel amazing. They're gonna have much better appetite and better bowel movements. So the second friend, that is the constitution that will benefit from this or someone who's experiencing pathology in the gallbladder or the liver and the stomach with reflux, they might feel better because that was what they needed to heal from a Chinese medicine perspective. But your other friend that's more cold and more damp, bloating, sensitivities, things like that, is gonna get worse, I can guarantee it, especially at this amount. It's not about this tiny amount, this 50 or 60 ounces or whatever that recommendation was. Is the celery juice good or bad? Neither, right? The dose makes the poison and the poison makes the poison. If it's good for you in a small amount, doesn't mean it's gonna mean it's gonna be good for you in a large amount, but these are very important because I see a lot of patients coming in getting worse from this kind of cleanse. And I don't recommend it for a lot of people. That's from my perspective. It's what's going on in Chinese medicine and can help differentiate if this is maybe good for you or maybe not good for you. So that's my two cents. I have more on this idea of detoxes and cleanses in these other videos also right there.